none of us is born the same we don't know why it's the way we came and every heart beats a little differently each soul is free memories of Alison Curley cast B72 in general, I remember how thrilling it was to be in the Olympic Village amidst the athletes and trading pins with the athletes and how we had free access to Olympic posters. I remember one Romanian athlete was very taken with one of the young women in our cast and he wanted to trade her for a cow. There are many roads beneath the sky. Memories of Lisa Miller Breck Cast B72. When the athletes arrived for the first show, they were pretty quiet. I don't know how they were convinced to come, why they were there, but they were very subdued. I know I was feeling very emotional. I kept telling myself, don't you dare cry, Lisa. But it seemed to me that the show got off to a rocky start. The audience was there, but not really there. I don't think I felt a sense of relaxing of tension until we started our international medley with An America and the Conga Line. We went out into the audience and, in some cases, literally pulled them out of their seats. By the end of the song, there were smiling faces and the athletes were chatting with each other as they took their seats. After that, things went smoothly. People responded to the songs more. I don't think I can adequately describe the emotion running through the auditorium as we sang Rhodes at the end.